look what's behind me. It's Chichen Itza, one of the new seven wonders of the world. If you like content like this, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Come on, you know you want to. And check out some of our other content where we cover more awesome sites like this. Good morning. So we're up right and early today because we're heading to Chichen Itza and we're both super, super excited. My back is still a little bit messed up, but it doesn't matter, we're gonna make it happen anyway. So we transferred from a small bus to a coach bus, thank goodness, because this is going to be a three hour drive. The coach bus is actually pretty comfortable, and this tour company that we've gone with seems super fantastic so far, so very excited. We've arrived! Okay, pro tip everyone. You're not allowed anything that resembles a tripod at Chichen Itza. Not allowed. There's a fee to pay for uh, to film, but not allowed a tripod at all. Not even those little tiny ones. Pro tip! We took the tour. They took care of buying the tickets for us. When you first enter Chichen Itza, stop and take a look at the ceiba trees. You'll see them all around the grounds and they can grow more than 230 feet tall. These trees are really important because it's the sacred tree of the Mayans. And so as they were doing forestation and creating paths, these trees were never touched. They were always left growing. Alright guys, we're here in uh, Chichen Itza. We've come in and you'll see as we walk through, we're actually walking through the jung jungle and um, all of these Mayan ruins were hidden for about 6,000 years in the thick of the jungle before they were found. Um, but now obviously they found it all and there's paths everywhere. Uh, so we've just stopped at the first cenote, which is uh, one of the sinkholes that we see here. And we've just learned that this area in general um, has sinkholes everywhere, or cenotes everywhere. Um, there's about, I think he said 500 um, or 5,000 in the whole Yucatan area. So pretty cool. Okay, we're in a traditional Mayan house. It's oval, it, it's kind of like Asian actually. It always has a face uh, east and west, very directional. And they always have an altar in the house. This is one of the last remaining ones that's still in Chichen Itza.
guys, this is absolutely amazing. Right behind me, one of the new seven wonders of the world, the main pyramid in Chichen Itza. Okay, now behind me is the main uh, face of the pyramid. We can tell because there's some snake heads there. <sighs> all right, I don't remember all the math, but the, this pyramid is basically a gigantic time uh, sundial slash calendar slash anything to do with time. Okay, you might hear a lot of clapping in front of me, but and that's because at the front of this pyramid, the acoustic is so good that when you clap, it sounds like a bird call. It's super cool. Look in the back, how many pyramids do you see? Did you say one? Well, you'll be wrong because the uh, Chichen Itza pyramid actually has two pyramids. One is inside the other. Now, unfortunately, some guy named Matt, thanks a lot, Matt, decided to carve his name on one of the uh, most prized uh, historical um, statues. So we're not allowed inside anymore. But inside, there's a smaller pyramid that depicts the lunar cycle, whereas the bigger pyramid is the solar cycle. western face of Chichen Itza and it's astronomically aligned to coincide with the sun's zenith passage at sunset. Each of the four sides of the pyramid represent one season, winter, spring, summer, and fall, and each of them contains 91 steps, which add up to 364 steps. The piece that you see at the very top counts as the very last step, which gives it a total of 365 steps, and that equals one calendar year. All of this ties in with the bigger picture that the Mayans had figured out in terms of aligning the planets and time and calendars. Mayans are amazing. They do, uh, they built these things. Have you ever seen the road to El Dorado? You remember that sport they play in it where they use their hips to bump balls into uh, the walls? Well, guess where we're headed right now? Right there. We're gonna get to see the actual arena. So excited! So the game is to use shoulders, hips, and kind of this area to bounce a ball into that hole. Seven people, or seven per team, and then they play. And so, uh, well, no one really knows how long the game goes for, but the, they say that because uh, the, the goal is also a sundial, maybe it's when uh, the sun goes down. It's crazy! Behind me is the platform of the serpent and eagle. The Mayans used this to keep track of where Venus is. Yeah, the planet. All right, our time at Chichen Itza is coming to an end and that means we're going on to the next activity. Let's go. This is don't forget the to be This is a rocky land. This is a like it did just do on the stones because it's no soil. It's only very sweet. It's like so it looks like very sweet licorice, tiny bit of licorice uh, taste. Like that is exactly it's very good. What the Maya people could.
the one thing I was excited for. Tech free tech. Yeah. We'll see if they're good. Just wrapped up lunch in typical, uh, in typical tour fashion. It was a buffet. The taco was really good though. Pretty delicious. Everything else was a little bland, but tacos were amazing. And we're going to Essenote, which is a giant sinkhole. We're gonna go swimming. Maybe. I think I'm gonna go swimming. Tia might go swimming. If my back is not really bad. Yeah, Tia shouldn't be going swimming. Probably but, not. Okay. <laughs> okay, let's go. Sonote. We've come all the way downstairs. It looks like Andy is ready to actually jump into it, but let's see how it is. Now we have to go back to the bus. Well, first we have to change. Then we have to go back to the bus. So we're heading back up. We're back in the bus. It was a very rushed change job. Halfway done on the bus. But the sinkhole looks great. Look up and just opens up. Highly recommended. One thing to make sure you do when you're on Mex uh, when you go to Mexico is visit a sinkhole, especially one that you can jump into. City, this is called not at all. We but are in a more local area, much so. The streets are about this tight, and the buses are about this big. <laughs> anyway, we have 20 minutes to explore. They've dropped us off in the city center where there's a cute little square. I think behind us there's a famous cathedral, and it looks like the square is set up for Christmas. So, I guess we're just gonna walk around and then head back to the bus. Yeah, it uh, really reminds us of uh, Puerto Rico actually. Colors and the arches and yeah. Let's go check it out. <laughs> 